This is WCPO 9 News. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. Ohio Democrats are looking to move the May 3rd primary to June 28th. It's to allow enough time for the redistricting commission to adopt new state legislative maps. The commission has agreed to hire consultants to help create them after justices rejected the last three attempts. The Kentucky Senate has vetoed the override Governor Andy, uh, to override Governor Andy Bashir's veto to end the COVID state of emergency. The bill now goes to the House. In his veto, Bashir called the measure cruel because he says it would cut off extra COVID related benefits for some half million Kentuckians. A federal program that pays for COVID testing and treatment for uninsured people is set to end tonight. It reimburses medical providers. Local leaders say there are still a lot of places you can go to get this testing for free, including at UC Health. Public health departments are also providing vaccines for free. Jennifer. Well, rain is back today. We are already seeing like the leading edge of that light rain coming in toward the morning drive. Temperatures in the low 50s to mid 50s, and we're warming to about 61 to 63 today. Here's the thing, though. It's not guaranteed to rain in every single town all day long. This is going to be hit or miss, but best chances southeast Indiana and north of the city. That's kind of our best shield of rain throughout the morning. They're kind of along I-71 and points west. That will still be the case as we head into the noon hour. Kind of a quick chance for everybody to see some widely scattered rain. But as we go into the evening rush, a lot of this will be lifting north and giving us a little break, which the timing on this is phenomenal for the evening drive to give us that lull in precipitation. But more storms are back for tomorrow's forecast and that low in threat for severe weather. We'll get into the timing and placement of it for you in your nine first warning forecast.